Should be a way to Corral's office through those pipes on the left. Pretty sure she ain't here, Quill. I think he's still processing. So, this is what a regular kid's room looks like, huh? It is more like a secret retreat. My daughter had several. If you knew about them, how are they a secret? She did not know that we knew. <laughs> Got to admit it, Quill. Kid's whole setup is pretty impressive. The way she rigged her terminal to the emergency power grid. I told you, she's a smart kid. Perhaps Peter Quill did not sire this child after all. Yeah, I could see that. She just don't seem dopey enough. Maybe she gets everything from the mother's side. Yes, she should have exhibited at least some foolishness. Maybe it's a trait that kicks in later. If I had a kid, she or he would definitely be super cool and smart. So just like Nikki. I guess, maybe, yes. Yep, so definitely gets it from the mother's side. Maybe they're on their way down right now. When have we ever been lucky? So much for your girlfriend meeting us. It didn't seem like <laughs> All I know is I'm really starting to hate this elevator. Eternal now? We're fine, Peter. We know how to fight. I know. I, I just... We'll find them. Don't worry. You said Corral's office was up top somewhere? Yeah. Just need to make our way up. to find them, longer we can pretend they're okay. Comforting. Shouldn't you be focused on figuring out what's inside those batteries? Quietly. Next stop, Corel's office. Come on, just admit it, Quill. You're freaking out right now. This whole deadbeat dad thing's gotta be eaten at you. Some need many years to fully comprehend their paternal responsibility. Some never do. None of this changes who I am. I'm still cool as a cucumber. I am Groot. Groot says all the cucumbers he's ever met were terrified on the inside. Well, that don't look good. There was a struggle here. 
Uh, yeah, that's what I'm reacting to? I am reacting in my own way. This doesn't look good, Peter. All we know is that there was a fight. We don't know who won. Pretty sure I know. Dog report item. We are lost. We're not lost. Hello? Corral? Nikki? Looks empty. Feels empty. Maybe they're hiding. There are always strange writings on the wall. I'm gonna try and get in her computer. See if I can wipe my criminal history. Rocket! I'm kidding. I'm gonna access her logs. You wanna know what happened here or not? Fine. The rest of us will take a look around. Maybe they left a clue or something. The scribbles are Cree. This one says, Mother knows best. Return, hope, promise. Any luck getting in? The thing's pretty well protected. I need time. All right, let me know. Nikki! Obvious signs of a struggle, Peter Quill. Yeah, this doesn't look good. Ah, <sighs> oh, appealing. This must be Corel's first kid. I remember she talked about him a lot. He was on Halla, right? When the Shatari... Yeah. Her kid and her husband. Explains how fearless she was during the war. She had nothing to lose. What is this? Some kind of a threat? The Cree Council demands proof of Nikki's heritage under the Cree Purity Laws. What Cree Purity Laws? Corel never told you that either? The Cree are extremely strict about their bloodlines. Oh, this does not look good. For you? No, for Nikki. What are the chances the Cree are involved in any of this? The Council of Purity isn't cryptic. When they punish someone, they make sure everyone knows it. Corel and Nikki hanging from a wall. The resemblance is uncanny. She doesn't look anything like me. She's blue. Besides, why wouldn't Corel have just told me? Protect her daughter, Peter Quill. Copulating with you was a capital offense under the Cree purity laws. Oh, right. That. So when Corel said we shouldn't be doing this... He was being literal. Well, this is fancy. For valiant heroism against unrelenting tyranny. That's the highest commendation given out by the Cree. How come I never got one of these? I did heroic stuff. You're not a Cree. Some kind of dye machine. Is it normal for Kree to dye their hair? Not unless they're hiding something. Oh, wow! The Kree have comic books? I am surprised. The Kree Council is very strict on approved forms of entertainment. So this could be, like, super valuable then. How valuable are we talking? Nikki's ID. Something seems off, though. What do you mean, off? I don't know. Like it's been flagged or something. Not sure. Is the girl's date of birth on those documents? Does it match with the typical Cree gestation period? I really wouldn't know. Okay, I'm in. But I got bad news. What did you find? Come here and I'll show you. Hey, Quill, you interested in seeing this or not?
So what am I looking at? Nothing. She's the captain. Captains keep logs. You keep logs? I I'm trying to tell you, they're gone. All of them. Almost like the world mind went out of its way to sever everything. Have you tried turning it off and on? What about backups? Doesn't every Nova ship have a central hub or something? A Nexus mainframe, yeah. If there's ghosts anywhere in the system, that's where. I categorically refuse. Not literal ghost, Drax. He's talking about data. Right? Yes, but we'd have to access the Nexus directly. Means going to the bridge. We're not leaving until we find out what happened. Center of operations it is. According to the ship's map, the bridge should be right through here. Dog report item. It's one of them priests down there, ain't it? Okay, so it looks like the church is behind this. Oh, crap. Uh, nuts to this. I'm out of here. Stop moving. so easily. Barely a flesh wound. You'll be fine. <laughs> there goes the arm. Cut to the chase. The gargantuan joy is also a sizable got threat. Himself in a, it's one of those two or more to operate things. Feel my rock. I guess someone must think this is the most valuable part of the ship. I don't know. Everything about this is just getting more and more them weird symbols say. Definitely not something I recognize. It's like this one doesn't feel pain. Prepare yourself! 
We must tell the dog about the priest. Robot priest. Groot says the mutt's not answering. Keep trying. The rest of us can focus on figuring a way out. Really? This is the server room, right? And servers mean data? I can't just plug servers into my skull. I still need a central terminal. You said the bridge was on the other side of that corridor. So we just gotta make our way across and then up somehow. So... That'll do it. Well played, Peter Quill. How am I supposed to know why the pooch ain't picking up? Keep trying. Dog report item. We have encountered a formidable new enemy, but still no sign of the ghosts. He didn't mean literal ghosts. Ghosts in the system. Remnants of data. Uh, let it go. Just let him think there are ghosts. Perhaps we should have interrogated the robot priest. Okay, so according to the map I saw, Nexus should be just above us. Uh, shall I throw the rodent? No! Come on! <sighs> Alright, let's look around. Maybe we can find something. Give to get into some of these servers. To think, all of this could have been avoided had the rodent not broken the glass. You're blaming him for that? His panicked scampering is what caused the final break. Your oversized gut is what caused the first 50 breaks. Guys! Hey, Groot, any luck getting through to Cosmo yet? Nope, still nothing. Reception will probably be better once we're on the bridge. Yeah, I don't think that's how it works. I have never understood how so much information could be stored in such a magical way. What, you mean servers? All of it. Servers, computers, technology. So you basically don't understand anything I do? Precisely. Okay, this is it, the command center. Which I guess makes that the next control terminal. Fingers crossed we find something useful. I'm thinking you should do the honors, Quill. That does not seem like you. He probably thinks the next is booby-trapped. Ah, uh, that would explain it. Hey, I ain't the one that's eager to know what happened. Let Quill see for himself. Have you found any useful information, Peter Quill? Uh, well, it's something. What are we waiting for, Peter? Yeah, yeah, just psyching myself up. I do not understand. Why is Peter Quill not accessing the Nexus? Because he's scared of ghosts. Liar! What do you think, Groot? He says it's the best. Uh, Groot wants to know if Quill's stalling because of his fear of parental responsibility. Obviously. Clearly. No! Just some personal logs. I wonder. Dog report item. We have reached the command center, but Peter Quill refuses to access the Nexus. Rocket, just access it yourself. Mm -mm. Regular computers are one thing, but I ain't leaving my prints on no Nexus terminal.
blocked. I wonder though, Nikki really didn't want her mom to know about this pass key she gave me. No way is some kid's card gonna bypass the next. We're in. You're kidding. What? Yes. Guys, we're in. Go to the criminal records, Quill. I want to see my files. Twenty units, mine's the biggest. They can't be that scary if they share a record. I've heard of this guy. He's part of a private army called the Lethal Legion. <laughs> More like the Loser Legion. What is it with you, Humies, and your stupid names? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Star-Lord is not in the same league as Darkhawk, okay? One's the name of the greatest band of all time, and the other's a bird. So, Drax's criminal record is pretty big. That is what your mother said. <laughs> it's great, because his mother's dead. I thought there'd be more here. Barely scratches the surface. You? <laughs> A gold dome? Over my dead body, buddy.
You know, for a non-spacefaring species, us humans sure get around. Unfortunately. know this Terran, Peter Quill. Just because we're both from Earth doesn't mean we know each other. Jax's girlfriend. Lady Hellbender is not my girlfriend. Yet. Why does this guy seem familiar? Grand Unifier Raker. Wonder what he was looking for in the quarantine zone. Probably nothing good. pulled off you name it we've done it if you're charged it means you've been caught you realize that right your point Wow, when Kree cops go bad, they really go bad. Actually, an accuser is the equivalent of a judge, jury, and executioner. bigger than I expected. How big were you expecting? Minuscule.
Another guy from Earth. I'm telling you, Quill, C-53 is the trailer park of the galaxy. Fun fact, that bounty on you put out is how me and Groot met Quill. I'm just glad I talked you out of collecting it. <laughs> Who says you did? I am unfamiliar with this creed. One of the nameless. Oh, spooky. All right, let's take a look. Wow, super evident, Quill. And to think we could still be reading my criminal record. Please do not. I was wondering how they knew about us. Quill must have tripped the sensors on the way out. Isn't that the mining rig from the quarantine zone? Oh, great. Looks like your girlfriend was collecting evidence against us even after the two of you struck a deal. I still do not understand how the Churchman's ship exploded. The Nova Corps is known for their security protocols. It's called stupidity, Drax. Something the bucket has got a lot of. Gotta be something in here. Hey, isn't that... The mining ship we explored in the quarantine zone, yeah. What is the footage from? The signal's stronger. We must be close. How close? Hard to say. There's too much interference. Centurion Corral! Found something. After we left. Flark. That thing. You don't think. It is the creature that devoured our monster. <laughs> Could have been a million things. I mean, it's restricted space for a reason. No, you're a Lotus Scut. That thing's got nothing to do with us. That gem Corral picked up. I think it's the same one we shot in the quarantine zone. Uh, we? You're the one who shot it. Fine, the gem I shot. The point is, is that shadow thing came out of it. We did this. The quarantine zone's a giant death trap. So, we released a shadow thing. We made it out, didn't we? Your stupid girlfriend probably did too. You've been saying the whole time she's probably dead. Eh, probably alive, probably dead, whatever. Important thing is, we're all fine. Corel is tough. If anyone made it out, it's her. I know it. It's a list of bucket heads. Uh, we already know your girlfriend works here, Quill. So? It might have useful info or something.
Agent of Thanos? Gamora, care to explain? Not really. Except that it wasn't me. Check it out. Nikki's got a file. Boring. I have heard of this one. He was a good man. Except good means scut when you're dead. AWOL. Then who is running Novacor? That's a good question. She crashed into a Leviathan on purpose and is still a better pilot than Quill. Hey! What? You know it's true. Get to the juicy stuff already! Channeling your Nova Force. A, a comprehensive, comprehensive guide to meditation, meditation and managing your mental health. Actually, I wouldn't mind a copy of that. Pass. Let me get this straight. She became a teapot? That's what my source said. <laughs> Amazing. I hate you all. Well, that don't sound good. The audio file must be corrupted. The audio file and everything else in the galaxy. Attention, away team. Please ensure your helmet cams are in full operation ahead of this afternoon's away mission into the quarantine zone. Thank you. Just like Corral, everything by the book. Yeah. Misread our intentions. No, you've made them pretty clear. Sometimes sacrifices. I had to check. Groot, write the stars. Grand Unifier. Breaker. Right? First, let me just say it's really cool that you've heard of us, right, guys? And it's cool that you didn't try to kill us just then, especially with your two pals right there. Could have totally ripped us apart the moment you walked in, which we obviously all appreciate. But also, we've kind of got a few questions, like... Where are Centurion Corral and her daughter? You came here seeking truth. Rejoice. The Matriarch wishes to share it with you.
demonstrate their lack of fear. It was a proven battle tactic. Katathian warriors often riot into battle completely naked. Keep your pants on. Although, it could be used as a distraction. Yeah, no. Any other ideas? Can you froth? I can froth. Can you twitch? Yeah, I'm pretty twitchy. All right. On my cue, you drop, froth, and twitch. While they're all distracted, we take off down one of them side halls. What about me? You, well, you know, you, uh, take one for the team. I'm not gonna... Walk with me. Come on, Quill, just grab your chest and drop. Find another plan. So, the Matriarch asked for us by name? You, specifically. Although I cannot fathom why. Peter is constantly surprising us, too. But if he's first in line for brainwashing, I gotta say... Is that what you think? That we're brainwashing people? We've met your recent converts. Overly zealous doesn't even begin to describe They them. have embraced the Matriarch's promise. A life-altering experience, yes. But one that must be freely accepted. Quill, his drone. It's your ticket out of here. What? How? What are you two whispering about? Well? He wants to know if you know you're the bad guy. Reductive concepts like good and bad led us into the Galactic War. And what was gained? Nothing. Actually, we were just admiring how huge this place is. It is grand, isn't it? Belief in the Matriarch restored it to what it was before the war. Just as her promise will restore everyone we lost. Mothers. Lovers. Sons. This promise will raise the dead? Of course it won't. We can't bring people back. We can't. But the matriarch, the divine vessel. I got an idea, but I need time. Stall him. Okay, that, uh, that is a cool trick. Wanna explain how you did it? Sorcery. I can understand how some might see it that way. But I used science. The science of faith. Faith is not science. But faith energy is. This skiff. My inquisitors. Even Sancrosanct herself. All powered by the same miraculous energy. Energy I discovered. I'm going for the drone. Keep him talking. What now? What? What is it? It's just, um... You, uh... You, uh, discovered stuff, and you claim to, uh... Control energy? Faith energy? Right. Uh, well, it just seems like all this uh, faith energy is, is uh, really, really powerful and uh, um, must be hard to... Yes? I, I think what Gamora's point is, is um, you say you have all of this energy. Faith energy. Right, but when we first saw you, Weren't you stranded on Hallow's Hope because your shuttle ran out of juice? Yes, I was, but... So why don't you just believe that your ship had more gas? It doesn't work that way. Faith energy is a byproduct of belief. Focused belief. <clears throat> okay, sure. I saw this proven. Focused belief in him is what enabled us to survive. <laughs> So, you were saying... Wait. 
Weren't there more of you? What? No, no, no. No, no. Nope. It seems like the kind of thing that we would be aware of. Indeed. Please continue your fascinating account of, you know, <laughs> believing in stuff. You were saying something about her? It seemed super important. The matriarch, I guess? That is not what I was talking about. Are you sure? It seemed like the matriarch was a thing at some point. She is the second divine vessel I was talking about the first. The one who refused to reverse the death of my son! But she has come to fulfill that Wait, there were more of you. The little one is missing. Perhaps he died like your son. What? I oh. Ah. What's wrong with you? Oh, I think. I'm... Yeah, I'm, I think I'm having a heart attack. Why are we not helping him? Cease this at once. Ah. I think you're all very clever. You don't know what you're talking about. You hope to delay me because you're afraid. But there is nothing to fear. Why are you... Get back here where I can see you. Yeah, yeah. It's time to meet the Matron. Tell me you have an escape plan. We're gonna summon the Milano. My new buddy will show us the way. We're being very cryptic, Rodent. Yeah, well, I get twitchy when I'm surrounded by giant murder bots. They just want us to meet their new mommy. Speaking of which, who else thinks Will's ex-girlfriend traded in her cop badge for cult robes? Come on. What? I'm just saying what we're all thinking. The Guardians of the Galaxy. Thank you, Grand Unifier. Guardians, we may approach. Peter Quill, order your offspring to come down from there this instant. Maybe I'm out of line, but aren't you a little young for a dress that short? Aren't you a little old to write your name on your clothes? Uh. Took you long enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, chatty grandpa gets. Hey, we're gonna get you out of here. Just follow my lead. But this is where we're supposed to be. We're gonna save everybody. I'm gonna save them, I promised. Come on, snap out of it, kid. You're just saying what he wants you to say. Whoa, whoa, hold on, everybody! The just... girl is clearly not herself. Of course I am. But I'm more than just me. Where's your mom? Mom is here. She's right here. Inside me. Oh, thanks for clearing that up. The light joined us. I thought she was gone. But I can bring her back. They're all waiting for us to bring them back. All we need is 
Ares' faith. The Grand Unifier helped me understand. This is one big con. Trust me, I know a thing or two about- Why can't you just believe in me? Why won't you just listen? Nobody ever listens until I show them. You saved me! That's how! I knew you would never leave me! I, I, I didn't, I mean... Look at you! Look at you, all grown up! And into the great leader I knew you would become! <laughs> Peter, I am so proud of you. Your father would be so proud. I, I, I don't understand. I, I saw you die. Am I... Did I go back? You are here. That's all that matters. We have all the time in the world now. You and me, and your friends, too. My friends? Sure. The house is plenty big enough. And I want to meet this amazing team of yours and hear all about your incredible adventures. <laughs> <laughs> that is... You don't know how bad I've wanted this. Oh, nothing will ever break us apart, I promise, Peter. I promise. I can't believe I have you back. Uh, Mom, you're squeezing kind of tight. We have so much time to make up for. Maybe we'll finally get to finish that game. Can you feel it? The promise is all around us. The matriarch will reunite us now and forever. are like new, so that's not the problem. I guess that needs replacing. That was a little loose. Shouldn't be the cause of the problem, though. Hmm. Might need to top off the oil. Peter! Dinner's almost ready! Yeah, be right there, Mom! Meredith Quill, where do you keep your carving knives? Oh, there's one in the drawer, nearest the stove. All I see is a dull instrument fit for a child. <laughs> That's the one. I will have to bring you a Katathian blade on our next visit. They can slice through solid steel. 
That's very generous, Drax. I just don't know how often I'll be chopping through something that hard. <laughs> I can also supply a few recipes. There you are, Peter. I was just about to come out and call you again. Some things never change, I suppose. Ah, Peter Quill. Your mother was just telling us about your childhood. Just some of your better adventures? She also told us she had found a suitable mate for you, but you refused to see reason. Drax, you said that would stay between us. <laughs> That's your first mistake, Mrs. Quill. Oh yeah, he's the biggest gossip of us all. I enjoy being informed. You've only been on Earth for half a day, Mom, and you're already playing matchmaker? I've waited this long for grandkids, Peter. Haven't you told her about Nikki, Peter? Nikki? Who's she? She is Peter Quill's illegitimate daughter. Your illegitimate granddaughter. Uh, I was trying to find the right time to tell you? Sounds like we need to have a serious talk over dinner, Peter. Why do I feel like I'm about to get grounded? Hey, uh, Quill, can you do something about your mutt? He won't stop staring at me. No, he just wants to play. Maybe you should take him outside, let him chase you around. Har har. You're just about as funny as this game is exciting. You know, we could all go see a game next time. It's not the major thing, but you might appreciate it more after seeing your mom. I'd like that. It would be an acceptable activity. Yeah, sounds fun. You don't know how bad I've wanted this. Oh, nothing will ever break us apart, I promise, Peter. I promise. I can't believe I have you back. Uh, Mom, you're squeezing kind of tight. We have so much time to make up for. Maybe we'll finally get to finish that game. Let go of me. Stop. I can't believe I have you back. Uh, seriously, Mom. I can't believe... Please, let go of me. Stop <laughs> hugging me. Peter. It's okay. It's me. I can't... Peter, what are you doing? I'm sorry. This isn't funny. Put that down, young man. I told you to put it down. <laughs> Peter? the hell? I don't remember taking this off or hanging it up. Yeah. 
This better not be like some weird episode of the Twilight Zone. You guys aren't in there, are you? I haven't seen one of these in years. How do you even get a pirate hat out here? How you holding up? Yeah, I don't know what's going on either. I need your help. Mom will be home for lunch soon, and I want everything to be perfect. Perfect? For her birthday. That's today. Did you forget again? Dad? Dad? Uh, no. No, of, of course not. I just don't remember falling asleep. Great. So, can you help me set everything up like we said yesterday? I just need help with the hollow projector, and then um, there's the cake and the present that we got her. I want everything to be perfect before she gets home. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. This looks amazing. Did you make it? Oh, no. I ordered it from the bakery planet. There's a bake? No! I baked it! Okay, that just leaves the present and projector. Dad, the projector? Hmm. Uh, Nick? Is it supposed to be fuzzy? Uh, obviously not. It's not focused right or something. Can you refocus it? Wow. It turned out so good. I was sure I messed part of it up. Wait, did you make this? Yeah. It's hollow and the star system around it, and I think I got all the moons. It's beautiful. Just need Mom's present now. I think it's somewhere in my room. Galaxy's greatest dad. Is that supposed to be me? Obviously. We are still on your mom's ship, right? Of course. You're so weird. Weird doesn't begin to cover it. Hey, you still have Chewie? Yeah, he's captain of the Milano now. Really? Well, congrats, I guess.
Happy birthday, love, Nikki and Peter. Why don't I remember this? Did you find it? Yeah! Okay, put it with the others. Great! A gift. Put it on the table. One birthday present. What did you get her? We got it. On Nowhere. Remember that artist's alley we went to and the painting she really liked? Of Cree Lara? Oh, right. Yeah. Anything else? I don't think so. How does it look? Amazing. Your mom's gonna love it. Thanks, Dad. I love you. Uh, wow. <laughs> okay, I, uh... Nikki, why is the door locked? It's Matt. I'll make sure everything's perfect. You get the door. Surprise! Peter? What are you two? No! <laughs> Don't believe it, Peter. This isn't real. She's being tricked. She never should have been here. What she saw. I don't know how, but the three of us are connected now. That thing, that thing has her, but she can still be saved. to accept my death. She must. Show her how to let me go. Free my daughter. Save her. out of here! Now! By rejecting the promise, you are proving yourselves unworthy. And you must be destroyed! No! Ah! This is wrong! What did she do to us? Mark, in my days, I'm gonna be a you later! Focus on Raker! Afraid of your goons? They do not leave this chamber. Ones mending his allies! 
Well, that's not fair. The broadcast amping up his buddies. We must eliminate and ready. down. I just love making scumbusters go boom! Guys, come on! These goons aren't gonna take us out because we're better than them. And this is our time. Our time for what? To prove it! Who's with me? I feel Here we go, I'm missing Thanos right now. down here how do we get out Raker's drone gave me a peek at the ship's layout I'll get us to the comm center where we can call the Milano to come bail us out of this scuttle flock okay but do you see a way up Careful. I see a way up how thoughtful as hard as you can. Why? Because we're going to die! Right. Mm. I know that sweet smell anyway. Come on! 
Run! We can escape through that drain! Are you nuts? That's highly toxic warp drive coolant. We can't just jump in there. We need to keep moving. Maybe I wasn't clear. That's a pool of instant death. Whoa. What the? Drax! Drax, man, uh, everything okay? Yes. Okay, so maybe it ain't warp drive coolant. <laughs> That's tingly. Well, we need to talk about your kid trying to kill us. Raker did something to her. This is his... Do you think they reached the old mining sector? No. The Grand Unifier said Lictor droned into the lower halls. The heretics would have been disintegrated. Scott Halls? Yeah, maybe. But if we are lost, at least they can't find us? We're screwed. We're lost and we're screwed. I just need to get my bearings. I ain't never been on a ship this big. Trust your instincts, little one. Uh, little one? Eh, guess it's better than abomination. <laughs> you are a silly little thing. Drax, can you handle this? I can do more than handle it. Scott, what are they doing? Blocking our way forward. So many doors. You do know the way out, right? I do now. There's Gubbins. You named it Gubbins? Yup. Watch this. He's gonna take us to the comm center. There. That's our exit. Okay. We got this. Hey, look! These idiots don't see us yet. Guys, I ever mention how much I love sneaking up on people? I ever mention how much you terrify me? We're trying to stand around fighting these dudes. The faster we get out, the faster we save Nick. You mean the faster we find the Milano? We're not leaving her! Thanks, Gubbin! You trust that thing? Of course! He's one of us now! Let loose, Rocket! Drag, toss it! It's a dead end. Now what? Up there! That catwalk's our way out. If we can get across that gap... Fuck. We got a bigger problem. Drone's back. Quill, find us a way up to that catwalk before we're extra crispy! That pillar's top-heavy. Drax, push that across the gap. Yes. No, 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 no! Wrong way, Drax! What the 
Scott, man! Crap! <laughs> you bad that is Badoon? That was our... Doesn't matter. We've got an exit. Let's go! Well, that thing really wants a piece of you. Too bad. They're my pieces. We should keep moving. <laughs> this doesn't look good, Peter. Whoa. Is this some kind of torture chamber? They look peaceful. Death can be very peaceful. It's like they're getting their lives sucked out. Or their faith. It's like they ain't worth nothing. Hey, uh... Are you okay? I might as well be back on Half-World. Some of my fellow experiments bought into this kind of scut. The Kree scientists told them we were chosen, and they tailed the snout believed it. Even as they were dying. But you didn't. I was one of the smart ones. Me and, uh... Lila. I can't stand looking at him. Let's get the Flark out of here! I've had enough of this nightmare. Tell me we're close to your comm center. Gubbin sent us this way. He sent us to a dead end. It wasn't a dead end for him. Actually... <gasps> Let's just hope Drax's shortcut leads us in the same direction. Yes, the shortcut. This sucks, and I hate it. Yeah. Gonna put a bullet in one of these blockers for every people battery in this place. That's a lot of bullets. I got enough. This ship is a nightmare factory. Sleep is overrated anyways. Less time to think about wasting scut holes like me. all those people stuck in their promises. Do they even know they're dying? It's a special kind of prick to do something like this to people! Go back to the shadows, unholy beings! Yeah! Get those, uh, shadows! Remember the good old days when we were just gonna snag a monster and sell it for some profit? Did anybody really believe it would go that easy for us? Yeah. Yeah! This is definitely it! A comm center! Finally! Rocket, do your magic. Yeah, yeah. Just let me do it. That must be the comm relay. To get off this heap. So, uh, how long is this gonna take? I'm gonna need your help. Sure. All right. Just stand right here. Okay. Perfect. Why are we pretending we did not witness what we witnessed in the ceremonial chamber? Because the promise is an insidious lie. How can you be certain? Because I wanted to believe it, but I knew when I woke up it... <sighs> We'll all be gone. What did you see? I... am Groot.
I saw my mom. Life. But there was something else there, too. Shadow. Yeah, exactly. Whatever it is, it's using the girl. Probably fed her alive her own. Valkyrie. I know she's. What? It's got What? That was completely intentional. The Milano's on her way. Thanks, bud. All right, let's split before the Faith Brigade realizes what we did. Where's the Milano supposed to dock? <laughs> it's cute they use the word dock. She doesn't have hangar clearance, so we're gonna have to get creative. Okay, just don't go overboard. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found a rendezvous spot near the hull. Wait, what? Relax. I know where we're going. There's a workbench we can use. Do it fast if you're gonna. That drone's still hunting us. Better safe than sorry. Let's get it done. All right. It's done! One shiny upgrade, nice and crafty. Now that that's done, can we get a move on, Jelly Legs? Now let's get out of here while we still can. Maybe I can just zap it? Runs on faith. Unless your guns can squeeze out some faith juice, we're screwed. <sighs> All right, let's look around. Maybe we can find something. I bet one of those faith batteries is supposed to fit in here. Genius, Quill, considering that's what I just told you. Got a lazy death bot here. This battery might still have some juice. Worth a try. Okay. You just keep on sleeping, buddy. I'm just gonna... Whoa! whoa! Ugh. Not cool! Do you know what you're doing? Sure. Battery in the battery slot, right? Will this work? One way to find out. Hook it up! Looks like it worked! Somebody want to fetch the destroyer? Drax, you coming, man? Drax? Hello? Hey, Drax. What's wrong? It has occurred to me that... This may be nothing more than a lingering dream. It's not, I promise. But we need to go. Very well. Oh, 
that? <laughs> yeah, that is kind of scary. I've never heard any ship make that noise. Not even Jatari. Is that... singing? More like distant chanting. Whatever it is, that's a lot of people. We have to go this way. We need to keep pushing forward, or we'll miss our ride. Assuming she actually makes it on time. Guys, whatever's up there, I just want you to know that there's nobody I'd rather have uh, by my... Is now really the best time for a we're about to die speech? Fuck. Whatever that is, it's really close. There must be millions of them. At least. I am Groot. Yeah, and how are we supposed to help? We need to worry about getting our own tails off this death trap. We survive. And we make sure Cosmo knows everything about this nightmare. He'll know what to do. The church comes for us! Flark! Think we can hijack that skiff? Probably. It'll be an ugly hack. Safety's off, people! I'm surprised your gun even has a safety! No good. It's just like Raker's shield. Good. Oh, There's a lot more work you no can Keep the herd coming! <laughs> Keep her still, Rocket! Keep them lasers off my face! <laughs> Or we'd want to bring back a prisoner for questioning. You want to drag one of these bloat holes all the way back with you? Okay, let's see what we can do with this scut. Come on. Come on. You sure you can- Whoa! If just one small faith battery can power one of their robots, imagine the power they harness here. And they're conquering planets now. Even this is small scale. Did you hear that? Hear what? There was- No! We're okay. They're just bouncing off the shield. Scott! Shields down! Blast them! Keep your heads down! I got this! They all got skips! We just need to find a docked one! I got all these toys, I'm just dying for you! Save your knife! 
Nice words for later, Quill. Oh, thanks, buddy. Watch your back! Guys, huddle up! Yes! Celebrate this moment, my friends! Victory shall soon be ours! We shall carve our name in the history books, Peter Quill, and it will not be spelled incorrectly! I hear you, and no matter what happens, we do not retreat. No one mentioned anything about retreating, Peter Quill. Precisely. We're the Guardians. We live to fight. Being on that field, chasing prey, fighting to live another day, isn't that what we do best? Who's with me? That's me. Anyone Someone understand that speech? Yeah.
Why do they fight us? They have a death wish. Come get some of Rocket's gospel. Is there a manuscript? This thing falling apart. Come on, we're almost there. Are we gonna make? Hang on. You feel that? No. The vibrations are different here. We're getting close to the edge of the ship, and our way out of here. You can detect that? Hello, Whiskers?
Come on. It's gotta be around here somewhere. We got a problem? Uh, no. No problem. Groot, do your thing. I am Groot. I am Groot. Yeah, what happens if Gamora don't catch up? Once they realize we're on the Milano, they'll throw everything they got at us. I will not leave Hovat behind again. Hovat? You mean Gamora? Yes, of course. The, the, the lethal one. Gamora asked me to trust her. That's what I'm... I am Groot. Flark, how's that thing still dogging us? Run! Go! Everything in this ship! Go, go, go! I only got little legs! With your feet, Peter Quill! Jump! What? Jump! We need to keep moving forward, Quill! Incoming! Any tick now. Should? Yeah, well, it's the best I can do. And our window to meter is getting smaller. You no, know they're gonna open fire as soon as they detect them. Yep, I've gotta run in silence. But who knows what kind of sensors Raker has on this place. I hope you have a surprise for them! Oh, 
Canaria loves surprises! When have I ever failed to blow something up? Hey. Is it me or are we barely denting this thing? Things built up! We need to really pile Keep it on! Keep kicking its flailing track! I'm coming! Punch him off! Die! Eat this! Out! That's gonna hurt! Okay, this one's set! Keep the loonies busy while I rig the next one! I don't know if we can keep this up! You have to!
must go back. I like killing sprees as much as the next guy, but we barely got out of there alive. What about Gamora? She, she made a choice. So you're just gonna abandon her? And Nikki? What if it was Groot? You gonna leave him behind too? I am Groot. Don't talk like that. That's not what this is about. Isn't it though? We're supposed to be a team. Teams don't leave people behind. Tell that to the giant Kratakan army of robots and brainwashed believers we barely got away from! Yes. How'd you get back? It doesn't matter. I failed. Raker lives. For now. We have to go back. We can't leave Nikki there. What he'll turn her into. Blah, blah, flark and blah. So you got stepdaddy issues and had a horrible childhood. Ooh, rocket! What? It's true. Guess what? You ain't the only one here who had it bad. It don't mean we're angling to commit suicide because some pseudo priest nut job is doing surprise nut job stuff. If we go back there, we're dead. D E D, dead. Are you good? I'd rather die with honor than without. Crawled up her butt and died. I'm good. So, get the flark out of Dodge? Not yet. We should try to get a hold of Cosmo instead. I am good. Great plan, only he ain't answering the passport. Okay, but what choice do we have? We don't have comms. Well, actually, we uh, might have comms. It turns out they weren't as flarked as I originally thought. Really? Groot should be able to race. Okay. Sounds like Murder Mom's feeling more stabby than usual. Hey! Better not slice through anything in that cargo bay. We ain't restocking anytime soon. I am Groot. Harsh. Excuse me, I ain't the one advocating to throw ourselves to the Florkins. Right, Drax? Yes.